Masters Council. I am your host, Gym Leader Justin, and today, today's finally the day, people. We are live on Thea, the Sky Ruins. Remote Stadium is no more. It's gone. Say goodbye if you like Zapdos. Uh, sorry you have bad taste, but Zapdos was bad for the game. Uh, I'm not saying this version is perfectly balanced, but it's a lot better if you get ahead early and have a good grasp on you know the early and mid game you don't just lose from one random auto attack stealing zapdos so we're getting right in here to thea we've already talked about the jungle a little bit we're going to be covering some gameplay i am jungling on talonflame i think talonflame is one of the best solo queue if you don't have any pmc members around to play with you it's the best character for the jungle that you can do especially because we're going to be using fly so as you can see right there i'm going to dodge out the escavalier i'm just kind of showing off what the jungle looks like now where it goes we've already covered this on the channel with like three or four different videos and next week with the podcast is going to be all about Thea a review once Brandon's back from state. So I've got the red buff, so I'm doing extra damage, and uh, it slows, so I'm able to pick up that Assault Guard, and you can see right there, before I even do a full clear, I'm already level 5. So I'm picking up this ball toy just because I want to grab it before I, you know, start moving. I'm pinging that I'm coming down to bot. I'm going to jump over the wall and try to look for a fight down here. Oh, but there's a uh, clay doll we can get. There's some berries spawning. You can see where the berries spawn. And now right here is where we're going to kind of start popping off because they're still just a gossip floor. So we're going to go ham. Look at that. Score shield coming in. So handy there. I love it. So we're going to jump in here. We're just going to be doing a bunch of damage. Unfortunately, that uh, indeed does go to the Gossel floor. So it falls to Eldegoss, gets a nice, beautiful hat. But we're going to go in here, and we're just going to easily clean up that Venu who tries to go overextending for the birds a little bit. Again, it used to be bees. Now it's the birds. There's a joke in there somewhere. Uh, I'm just going to clear out that Indeedee. It's a bit risky now that they're back, but it's okay. Uh, I'm going to go grab these berries, and I'm just going to be able to be here to back up the Crustle in case he needs it. But they end up pushing off. So as you can see here, we are just going to go back into the jungle. I'm going to farm up these Bal toys. Ball toys. Uh, Hoenn reps for days, man. Just dead Hoenn Pokemon everywhere. It's kind of sad. So we got Fly now. We're fully evolved. We've got the birds. So you want to dodge that because it actually is a long a bit of CC and it just, in terms of efficiency, it's good to make sure that you proc it. Step out of the way. Let him jab forward with like his, you know, Megahorn or whatever move that it was. And then start attacking him, right? I'm uh, going to fly over here and boom! Land on top of him. He does catch me with that uh, Bug Buzz and pushes you back a little bit but i tried to get behind him as you can see the, we're going to jump bot oh pow there's one dead and pow there's another one look how low she is miss that but it's okay we pick it up with an aerial ace we're gonna pop that ulti get another one look at that triple kill and boom there's a fourth one they steal it from us but, so no quadra for the bird, but we do get all the points. We get our scores in. We dunk 40. We're off to a really, really good start. Now, this is the part on Thea that's completely different. You're like, Justin, you're the jungler. There's two seconds until Rotoms and Dreadnought spawns. What are you doing going top? Yeah, that's right, folks. Uh, there's been a couple different metas in Remote, but in Thea... From what I can tell so far, the meta is you go top because you want a Regieleki. Regieleki is th by far, in my opinion, so far, day one, by far the most impactful objective on this map. Even more than Rayquaza himself. The bottom three Regis are not worth it. You should not be rotating down there. It should always be just like, hey, if we can snag it, cool. But it's not a priority. It's not something we should rotate for. It's not something we should die for. And it's definitely not worth trading. Look at that. Pop off that Pikachu. It's just not worth trading the, uh, the Aleki. So we end up getting a double kill here, just murdering this poor little bunny. He's having a tough time against us. I get those other points. And I'm not running score shield here, but it is nice to have. Uh, we are going to be running the uh, goal getter, but in this game... We're running the flash, still trying, or excuse me, eject button. We're still trying a couple of things out. But yes, uh, Goal Getter, I think, will be another insanely powerful, potent uh, item on this map uh, because of the lack of insta dunks outside of Eleki now that the Zapdos is gone. So the Dreadnought, 
not giving uh, that huge experience just, just doesn't – there's no need to go bot. Yes, you do get experience from the three Reggies, Ice, Rock, or Steel, and then obviously Ice gives you HP regen along with a little bit of EXP. Uh, you get EXP if you actually kill or assist it, but there is a little bit of global EXP. It's not much. It's like half a level. It's nowhere near as much as what Dreadnought used to give. Uh, so I am just going to try to push them off there. I only had one HP. It, it, you know, it's solo queue. It, it was, probably wasn't the best play. Uh, but the fact of the matter is I was just trying to assert pressure and push them off of the birds. And hopefully my team would, like, collapse and pick up some of that farm. Because denying farm is real important. And right here, the Randy sort of just mess up. They're just sort of wandering around aimlessly. And look at that. The enemy gets in a whole bunch of points. Uh, our Crossel does get in 36 bot. So it is kind of nice that we are penduluming and pulling our part. Uh, in terms of map pressure, we're pulling them apart top and bot decently. So it sucks to have them score a little bit like that. It's not great. We would have been able to protect our goal for a while still had they not let them get it in. But the fact of the matter is this is the game state now. So what are my options? I'm like, all right. Well, I for sure need to farm up. I need to get my ultimate back. And I need to make sure that I get level 12 as soon as possible so I can start holding 50 to get in these big dunks for the next Aleki. That's sort of one of my goals right now is like the next Aleki is almost up. I want to ding level 12 so I can hold 50 gold in my pocket. I know there's a bunch of gold up here already. I'm just waiting. So I go for the ulti. I miss the Eldegoss, unfortunately. Uh, and the Crustle goes in alone and none of the none of the allies are here to support me so unfortunately i think i sort of gotten killed there that's my fault i'll own that uh and i'm just gonna kite out here because i'm kind of scared of the azu without my team here but boom we go in double kill let's go and we just sort of clean him up for free we're just waiting on cooldowns he flashes out, so it's like I'm not going to overextend. He want, He's ranged, and he's solar beam build. Like, he'll just one-shot me. Boom. As you can see right there, I have to go back. That solar beam absolutely is 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 just game-breaking to squishy Pokemon like Talonflame. Uh, so if he flashed out of my fly, it's really good on him. He, that means he gets to live to fight another day. So I'm going to pick up this red buff, and I'm going to clear some bell toy while they're just sort of skirmishing around up there. Uh, our Pikachu ends up killing the Azu, so it seems like they sort of have it under control. The, as you can see, I'm scanning up. The Lucky's still basically full health. Boom! There we go. We're gonna take that out. I'm gonna go over here to the Pikachu. One, two, three. Boom! There's another one. And boom! Dodge the ulti! Let's go! Triple kill! No assist needed. Let's go. Just going in there, you boy. Just popping off. Playing that assassin role. Playing that speedster role. Being everywhere around the map. Getting those kills. And as you can see here, now we're going to be getting all these big dunks. Uh, I don't actually score here, but my team does. So let, let's see what the play is. So I'm going to go for the ulti. I'm going to push them back. I'm just trying to do some damage. I have my fly to get out, and I have button to get out, which I use both. So it's like, all right, let's just get off the roof. I'm going to go back in with this arena. Oh, no, but Pikachu picked him up. So we're all, we're in a decent spot here. Oh, but that wild charge. So it's – I'll take user error. It was a mechanical mistake by my part, but it was just a split second. Basically, it got auto-targeted towards the Pikachu right as he used wild charge. So it brought me further in, and I just got hit by everything in the team fight and got popped. Uh, but as you saw there, the Crustle was able to get points in, uh, or the Mime, one of the two. One of those two were able to get points in down bot, so it was a super fair trade. No, we didn't get the Alekian, but that's okay. We still got points on the map, and we're still ahead. So this part's really important. So I jumped to the Zatu, or to the Natu, literally just to get more coins. I knew that there was a bazillion up here. Uh, and now look, so you see on the mini map because Randy's are Randy's, they're all just going to go for this big team fight at Zapdos because that's what everybody's been trained to do for a year. But Rayquaza's just not that type of Pokemon. So I'm able to get in here, get my hundo, and get out without, that's the power of Score Shield. Uh, that's not even Goal Getter. I definitely will be trying that out, like I said, but that's not Goal Getter. That's not Rayquaza buff. That was literally just a natural, like, Talonflame is one of the fastest scorers in the game. So, like, it just works out. So, I'm going to sort of play super safe here, super careful. I'm going to jump middle of the wall, but then it automatically puts you on the other side of the wall. Now I'm on the other side. I'm not a in threat range from the Azu anymore. Uh, the Mime picks a fight with the Pika. I'm going to go in and clean him up. KS as the speedster assassin as that is my right. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up that little kill for myself, get some lifesteal. 
Go in here. I see the Azu. Again, he's full health. I don't really want to pick a fight with him. I'm just going to do the trick again where I jump halfway through the wall and it spits me out on the other side. And I'm out scot-free. Uh, again, Fly is one of the greatest tools in the game. So, uh, as you can see right here, we are going to just sort of jump over there. Pow! Right on top of Venusaur's Kisser. So, I'm going to be holding on real tight here. I want to get my Hundo in, but I don't need to. Oh! Serena jumps me. That's okay. I'm going to fly away. She's going to chase me. Watch. And then I jump over to the clay doll and I'm out like a dodgeball, baby. So uh, that's essentially it for Thea. This is just a fun, quick game from our from my practice sessions today from day one uh, in, in rank crime. This is actually the match that got me up t uh, to ultra five. So on the road to masters again super excited uh for what it's worth the mvp scoring is different now uh we'll get into that later in the podcast stay tuned uh let us know what you think about thea and remember reggie lecky is the most important on the map and those late game scores you don't need to go to rayquaza you can just score if the map is open let us know what you think in the comments down below and stay tuned next week for mu videos once brandon comes back until next time i've been justin Council's adjourned.